Hello everyone and welcome to another Friday Business Intelligence Tip. Today we're going to continue our series on how to uh, use a SQL Server stored procedure inside a Power BI model. Uh, in, you know, in the past few sessions we've gone through one connecting to CSV files or text files as part of the BI solution. Then we migrated over to SQL Server and linked up a couple tables. Today, we're going to take it one step further and talk about stored procedures. Oftentimes, you want to do something a little more advanced than uh, the typical stored or uh, typical table data. You need to grab data from a stored procedure, and you can do that with Power BI. You just have to understand a couple of the limitations uh, that are there. The biggest one, in my opinion, being you have to do data import. You can't do direct query uh, with the stored procedure. So just keep that in mind that you do have to do it as a data import uh, to use those stored procedures. So how do you use the stored procedure inside Power BI? First, we're going to connect to SQL Server. So I'm going to go ahead and say, just get some data from SQL Server. And it's going to bring up our, our normal prompt here. So I'm going to put in my laptop. And uh, because we're going to do a stored procedure, you're going to be required to put in the database. So I just created a basic database called testing. And I'm going to go to my advanced option. And if you're familiar with SQL Server to execute a stored procedure, what you do is you do uh, exec, then you put in the stored procedure name. And in this example, I'm going to do a parameter just so you can see how you do parameters uh, with it as well. And so what this procedure is going to do is take a parameter, which happens to be company. Uh, I'll pass it a company number, and it's going to give me a list of the account units, which uh, some people would refer to them as cost centers or departments within that company. So I'm going to go ahead and just say OK. And what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and execute that and give me a little preview of the data and load it on into my model. And as we're seeing here, it's going to run it, run it, load the data into the model, and you'll see it show up over here. Now, what I'm going to do, just so we can see some of the data, is I'll add a basic table uh, into here. And then I'll display the account unit and the company. Uh, actually, the description. We'll do company. Account unit description as part of that. So as you can see, it's just a basic listing uh, of the descriptions. Uh, and the account units for that. Now, if I want to do something a little more advanced with this, if I go ahead and I edit this query, what it's going to do is bring it up into the Power Query Editor, showing me that. The reason I want to show you this is it's actually um, showing me the command that it's doing here. And another way to look at it is through Advanced Editor, which I tend to use a little bit more to display the different things, but you'll notice that it has the command where you're executing the stored procedure with that parameter there. Um, the reason I'm showing you that is what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start to take this example further in, in future weeks, but for this particular one, I'm going to add a parameter uh, into this. So if I go to manage parameters, we'll do um, I'll just do a new parameter here. All I really want to do is add a parameter. And in this parameter, I'm going to call it um, the company. So a variable for company, make it required. It can be any value. And the current value, I'll set it to be um, two. We'll just do something a little bit different so you can see a change. So when I say, OK, for two, we can say, oh, there, we can close and apply this uh, data. And what you're going to see, it's been changed. It's going to go ahead and run. Now, it ran that uh, data, but you didn't see it because my data is not too different in company two. So why don't I go ahead and I'll switch it to another one? So if I wanted it to, to do it another way, you can, you can do this many different ways. But if you go back into the Power Query Editor and, <coughs> excuse me, go back to the Query Editor and maintain this, I'll switch it to three for my company three, we can close and apply this. And what that'll do is it'll go out, get my company three data and refresh that. So now I'll go here and refresh. So we see the, the cube values refreshing. And so right now this is all 
my companies. It's still company one because if I go in here, and you may be wondering why I didn't refresh with the different parameters, because all I did was I added a parameter, but I didn't hook it up to anything. So I kept switching it. My parameter is now three, but my command is still a one. So how you hook up parameters into that stored procedure is you come over here and in the command, I'm going to append, make this more like a dynamic SQL for lack of a better term. Um, because this is a number and I'm trying to append it to a string, I got to go through a conversion function. So I'm going to say number and I'm going to say two text to convert the number I'm passing in here to a string. And that number is the company. I got the company in there. So now instead of a hard coded one, it's got the parameter in there. So now when I close and apply this, you're going to see it's out of date. And now my list changes to what's there. So often question I get is my values. I added a parameter, my values aren't changing. Why is that? It's because you have to remember to make the query that you're looking at dynamic by appending in that parameter there. Now, if this was a text parameter, um, I won't actually run it, but you'd have to do something like single quote and then ampersand and a double quote, single quote. So basically it's appending in a single quote uh, into this. So if you do have a text a parameter or a date, you would need to do that. Other common issues I see on there that if this value wasn't a number, but like a date, for instance, and you needed to convert it to text, you would need to do date that to text. So just depending on what your uh, values are, uh, you may have to um, update that, that parameters there. And you'd use commas between multiple parameters to do that. So as you can see, to do a stored procedure uh, as a data set that you can use inside Power BI is quite simple. As long as you understand the limitation that it is imported data and not a direct query uh, data. I'm hoping that in the near future, they can add the functionality for that. Um, but today, that's what we have to work with. So hopefully you found today's uh, episode, I'll say, of the business intelligence tip useful. And we're going to continue down Power BI's uh, functionality in future sessions uh, again next week. So thanks for joining and we'll talk to you again next week.